Shri Dr. A. S. Kiran Kumar to kindly address the gathering. Good morning to all of you. Honorable Justice K. N. Basha, Honorable Justice S. Mohan, Honorable Justice Valiyanayagam, and Honorable Justice Krishnan, Lieutenant General Arun Kumar Sahani, and all the delegates who have gathered here today for the National Cyber Defense Meet, Defense Summit. As already pointed out, today we are living in a world where the technology has transformed the way we live, the way we look at things, how interactions happen. No longer we have the luxury of time where we could measure our response and take our time in reacting to requests made to us. Gone are the days when we had luxury of weeks before we could write to people as a response to what we had received. As the technology and communication has made the world come closer and also has made interaction between people much more easier, it also brings with it a huge amount of problems. Problems which cuts across different disciplines, whether it is economics, whether it is social life, or whether it is the values in the society itself. Today, as was pointed out, probably each one of us have an access to a device in our palms through which we know what is happening instantly in any part of the world. And it also brings with it a demand where you are expected to respond immediately to any, any stimulus that is given to you. What this does is it changes the manner in which the society has to cope up with the events. We have seen how some trivial events gets into viral communication and can cause problems. Just in the recent past, we have seen events which otherwise would have probably resulted in few people getting affected, getting converted into national events or interstate events causing huge loss, all because of instantaneous transfer, transfer of information. While the people who develop the technology, while scientists and technologists bring in newer and newer developments, newer and newer capabilities, the technology itself is neutral. But people like us, me and you, who use it are not neutral. Each one of us are thinking in our own ways how we can exploit this new capability for our benefits. It is here that we have to find ways and means of dealing with the problem. Today, Cybersecurity Defense Summit or the problem of addressing the issues of cybersecurity, why it has become such a large problem is mainly because of what I believe it is the human nature. Human being tries to look at in every tool that is made available to him. We have people who look at how this tool can be used for benefiting the society. We also have people who can look at how this tool can be used for maybe a group of people or a category of people. There will be others who will be looking at how this technology and tool can be used for individual benefits. It is the conflict, this conflict, that poses bigger and bigger problems. As was pointed out, the Internet of Things or the Internet originally started as a military or a defense enterprise where the institutions wanted to make sure 
that they are able to communicate with each other in a very effective manner. Very soon, this capability grew to such an extent. Today, maybe 10%, more than 10% of the world population makes use of this particular capability. And then what this also does is it puts in control of those people who are managing this infrastructure a tremendous opportunity to manipulate things both for country's benefit or for the company's benefit. It is here that we really need to understand whether things have already gone beyond redemption or are there means, ways and means by which we can protect ourselves. India as a country, when you look at the culture and the manner in which our societal values existed, you would have heard that keep your windows and doors open, let ideas come from all sides, was supposed to be one of the good things. But today, if you look at the, the device which is in your hand, which is in our hand, which is becoming an object of desire for a child, even as it is growing, it knows that there is some device which everybody is craving after. So it is something that it also has to acquire. While we take pleasure in telling people that the children are more capable, they are capable of operating these devices with such great dexterity. It is the same device which gives the children and the people who grow up a feeling of something which the society otherwise would not have accepted as an acceptable behavior, whereas this device makes them believe everything is acceptable. So as a result of that, we are seeing a large number of issues which are cropping up and which are affecting children, the youngsters, and the aged. And today we talk of digital divide. Digital divide between those who have the knowledge and those who do not have. Those who have the tools and those who do not have the tools. But there is also another major important aspect here. As a person, a person's ability to comprehend new technologies, today definitely we all agree that the way that today's digital systems, their usage, the purpose for which it is used, youngsters have a great advantage. Many of us would not even be able to comprehend what they are interacting or what they are doing. Then we also are not in a position to make decisions for them. So this is another real critical issue. While today's two days seminar is meant to address how we can cope up with this kind of technological changes and how this technology change is impacting us in our day-to-day -day life and how we can cope up with this. There are many critical problem areas here. One is in terms of the basic infrastructure itself. Even if the country wants to impose certain restrictions, the wherewithal for imposing those restrictions, the basic architecture lies outside the country. And the second important aspect is the people who are supporting or making these tools available to the general public also have a vested interest in seeing that more and more data usage happens, then only they get their returns. But notwithstanding this, we definitely need to worry about how a technology can be developed, how the technology can be harnessed, and how we as a country are able to deal with the impact of this in terms of our societal values, in terms of our culture, whether we can accept the free flow of information for various social activities also to continue indefinitely without hindrance. Today, even if it is required to be implemented, there are difficulties. We have to find newer solutions. We have to bring in basic infrastructure of telecommunication networks and also cyber security networks. We, the hardware that is used has to be actually intrinsically developed differently and then made available to the people who are governing and also the people who are governing needs to be actually showcased how these things can be implemented
for the benefit of the society. The problem is very daunting. It's not an easy problem. And like in all the other areas, what we see today, we have a demographic dividend. And it is for the youngsters to really tackle this problem because now it is they who are going to face tomorrow's world. And it is for them to understand what kind of culture, what kind of societal values they want to pursue, whether they want to simply adopt and accept whatever behavior pattern this social media is making accessible to them. Is that the one which they want to take up for future? Or they want to make sure that they look at the problem in a different perspective. Now today, cyber wars, what is being talked of, whether it is economic warfare or whether it is warfare between the countries and between the, those who are in a position to control the world order. I'm sure the next two days, the people who are going to talk about, they are going to talk about how, what kind of problems exist today and what kind of solutions one can start looking at. And the need for making basic infrastructure development for controlling this cyber security aspect is tremendous. And the rate at which the electronics is growing, it is said this cyber crime is also growing at the, in the same pace as the Moore's law, that the number of uh, events that are happening is increasing tremendously. And I take this opportunity to congratulate the National Cyber Defense Summit, because as was already pointed out, it is only when you realize and when you accept that there are problems, you will start finding solutions to the problems. So first and foremost, the summit is trying to make sure that more and more people become aware of the issues and then start addressing how these problems can be tackled. And I wish this two-day event a great success. Thank you.